Hello friend, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel Let's say Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub right here and in today's video you are going to learn how to create business card in Photoshop step by step tutorial. But before we dive deep into the tutorial, if you are very new to this channel, remember to click on that subscribe button, turn on notification bell so each time I post content about Photoshop you'll be notified. So with that being said, so let's dive into the tutorial and see how you can create business card using Photoshop step by step tutorial. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to come to the home tab right here make sure you click on file and then you go to new all right so the next thing you want to do is to come to the top right here and type in the title of the design business card then you have to come to the width column under the width column make sure you type in 3.25 then you come to the height column. Under the height column, make sure you type in 1.75. Make sure your resolution is 300 and then make sure your color here is CMYK. Then you come down below right here, make sure you click on create. Next thing you want to do is to come to the top right here, go to view. Then from view, make sure your ruler is active or you press Ctrl R to make your ruler available. Having make your ruler available, next thing you want to do is to drag your ruler both vertical and then horizontal. Then you make sure it snaps to the page. Next thing you want to do is to go to the home tab right here. Make sure you go to file. From file, look for canvas size. Then at the point here, uh, under the width, make sure you type in 0 0.25 for the width column. Then come to the height column, type in 0 0.25. Then you come to the top right here, click on OK. The next thing you want to do is to drag your ruler both vertical and horizontal. Then make sure it snaps to the page. Next thing you want to do is to go back to the home tab right here, go to image, from image, make sure you click on canvas size, then at the top right here, make sure you type in 0 0.25 for the width and come to the height, make sure you type 0 0.25 and come here, click on OK. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is to go to your tools bar right here and then click on foot down. And make sure you choose your rectangle tool. Having to see your rectangle tool, you have to come to the property right here. Make sure you apply color fill and then make sure you come to the stroke right here, no stroke. Then you have to come to the hard to work right here and draw your rectangle this way. The next thing you want to do is to go to the home tab right here, go to edit, from edit, make sure you look for free transform. Then the next thing you want to do is to come to the top right here and uh, under the hangul right here, make sure you type in minus 45 degree. And uh, you're going to have something like this. Next thing you want to do is to drag your shape and uh, give it a proper alignment. Once you're satisfied with the adjustment, you have to come to the top here. Make sure you click on this check mark to accept the transform. And the next thing you want to do is to come back to your background layer right here. And then we have to go back to our toolbar here and uh, we click and hold down. We need to choose rectangle again. Then we have to come to the rectangle property. We make sure shape is checked. Uh, we can change this color to another light gray like this. The next thing you want to do is to come to the artwork and draw another rectangle. Then the next thing we want to do is to go back to our background layer. We select our background layer again. Then how we select our background layer, then we have to go to the shape property. At the top right here, we can change the color to uh, black. Then we have to draw another rectangle right here. Then 
All right, so the next thing we want to do is to go back to our background. Uh, we we'll go back to our layer right here. We we'll press Shift key and select the uh, rectangle tool. I've installed the tool rectangle, and then uh, one thing we need to do is to make sure we go back to our home tab right here. We we'll go to edit. Then we have to look for free transform. So at the top right here, we need to make sure we type in minus 45 degree. So we're going to have something like this. Then we need to adjust this shape right here. Once we're satisfied with the adjustment, we have to come to the top right here. We make sure we click on here to accept the count, uh, transformation. The next thing we need to do is to go back to our background layer right here. We have to select this layer. We right click on this layer. Then we have to look for duplicate layer. Then this duplicate one right here, we can make it rectangle four. And then we click on OK. Then we have to go to our home tab right here. We click on edit. Then we have to come down right here. We look for free transform. Then we have to take this one right here and we make it to the top here. Once we are satisfied with the adjustment, we have to come to the top right here and click on this check mark to confirm the transformation. Then we have to select on this. We make sure this is also uh, properly aligned perfectly. Okay. The next thing we want to do is to add appropriate color to our business card. So we can start from this layer right here. We come to the layer panel, we right click on the layer. And then what we want to do right here is to click on blending options. Then from the point here, we have to make sure we choose our gradient overlay. Then we have to change this style to linear. Then we click on gradient right here and we have to change our color. Then we click on OK. So at a point here, we have to change from uh, linear to radial back. Then we need to adjust the gradient shadow. Then we make sure the opacity is 100%. Then the scale should be 110. Then the angle should be minus uh, 177. Then we have to come to the top right here and we click on OK. Boom. So we have to select on this layer. We have to look for the layer too. We come to the layer thumbnail right here. We double click on the layer thumbnail. And uh, we change the color from here. So you can see the color code I use right here. And uh, uh, we come here, we click on OK. Then we have to locate this particular layer right here. Then we have to come to the layer thumbnail. We right click on the layer. We have to choose blending options. So at this point here, we have to double click on the gradient to overlay. Then we have to change from radial to linear. Then we have to make this 50% degree. Then we have to make this 100 scale. Then we click on the gradient slider right here. We have to uh, double tap on here. We make we change the color right here to so you can see the color code I'm using for this. Okay. Then we have to click on OK. Next thing we want to do is to double click on here. We have to change this to 100% white and we click on OK. Then we have to come here and change the degree to 75. Then we click on OK. Then we come here at the top here, we click on OK. Then we have to select this layer again. We come to the layer, right click on the layer, and uh, we go to blending options. Then we go to gradient overlay. So we have to pick on the gradient right here. 
then we have to double click on here we change this to 100 percent white then we double click on here and then we change this to this type of uh, color code so you can see the same color code right here then we click on ok then we have to work on the position right here so we need to take this back to 100 percent then we have to work on the position right here so we make this point here So we make this point here 35%. Then we click on OK. And OK. Right here. So next thing we want to do is to select on this particular layer right here. Then we have to go back to our rectangle tool. We select our rectangle tools again. This time around, we have to come to the rectangle property right here. We change the stroke color to white. Then we have to increase the... So we make the stroke weight to be 18 pixels. And uh, we click on uh, move to. So we have it this way. So at this point here, the next thing is to add text and icon to our business card. So let's see. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the check, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather read than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Thank you. 